I'm hot flashing so bad right now. Ooh. <laughs> I always feel like a mess. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to show you how I got this look. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a professional makeup artist for over 25 years, a licensed hairstylist for about the same time. And I'm dipping into fashion a little bit too, but that is not my expertise. I'm just kind of doing that for fun because I'm trying to figure it out myself. If you don't mind a haphazard video where I laugh at myself a lot, then please keep on watching. If you do like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave your comments below and let's get started. It's actually really hot out right now and I'm not sure if we're going to be sitting on a patio so that's going to determine what I use today. So what I think I might do for my foundation is mix two. I've got the Dior Skin Glow Foundation and the Dior Matte Foundation. They both last a long time but I'm feeling like I want to have a little bit of a mix and I'll show you what that looks like. I bought it in 3N because I'm always self tanning but I'm a little bit I don't know. I don't know what I am right now. So we'll see what this looks like. I just put a little bit on my hand, actually way too much. <laughs> I always do that, but I mix the two together really nicely and then dot it on. It should be good actually. I'm using my BK Beauty 101. It is my favorite brush for foundation. Really? Oh, I just got foundation in my hair. No, can't believe I did that. I wonder what it looks like in the back. <laughs> At least it's similar to the color of my hair. It'll be fine. If you haven't tried Dior foundations, I love all of them. I love the Dior Face and Body. I love the Dior Skin Glow. I love the matte. I love all of them. Dior is one of my most favorite bougie brands ever. Before I drive you guys crazy and me crazy, let me put my hair back. I hope I don't ruin it. I don't know how people use those hair bands when they're getting ready. For me, I have cowlicks and if I do that, <laughs> they just stay. So I have to be really careful. Oh, my cleaner is at my door. I picked up a concealer that I wanted to try. I have a feeling this might be too dark. This is L'Oreal True Match C3 to 4. Let me try it. That's what the color looks like on my hand. It actually looks like it'd be a good skin color for me, like a good foundation color versus a concealer color. I think it's going to be a little too dark. I bought this because I thought it might compare to the uh, Huda Beauty Glowish Concealer. And so far, the feel of it is very similar very very light i'll put this on and double check when i'm done on my eyeshadow we'll see how it sits i always touch up my concealer after my eyeshadow and then powder i know that's not the way a lot of people do it but that's how i do it with all the clothes i've been buying lately i went to get dressed today and honestly i feel like i need new clothes i don't know why more tops i guess i really do like wearing dresses in the summertime though where is your favorite place to shop? Let me know if you've heard of Sydney Grace. This is an indie brand and she has amazing shadows. I haven't tried anything else from her brand, but I did order this and she sent me the Love palette as well, which is still available. Let me go get it, hold on. I purchased this one on my own and then they sent me the Love palette, which is stunning. Feeling more like this color. I wanna give that a go. This is gonna be the focus of my eye right here. A really beautiful YouTuber that I watched every morning, Mel Thompson was her name. Um, she, that was her creation with Sydney Grace and she passed away, I think it was a couple years ago by now, but I had to buy that palette just to feel connected to her for some reason. It's not funny when you don't know somebody, but you feel like you know somebody because you've seen them every day. She really did have an impact on other people's lives. She was so joyful. I'm gonna start this eye look off with Bone. This is the Longwear Cream Shadow Stick from Bobbi Brown and it's really easy to apply. It's workable as long as it hasn't set, and then once it sets, it doesn't move. I'm blending this in with my finger, but then I'm gonna pull it up to my brow, but I hope you can see that it's not as strong here as it is here, because I applied it here first, and then it makes sense that as I drag up, it's gonna fade to lighter color, to a lighter color. My grammar's awful. There, now when I put that violet color over top, it's really gonna pop. I'm just taking a MAC brush. This is a flat shader brush. Any flat shader brush would do. You can even use your fingers. And I'm gonna go into this color. And that is called Jewel Bee. This is basically gonna set that cream, although it doesn't need to be set. Another palette that has a beautiful color like this in it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nouveau palette. Always get compliments on my eyes when I use that one might get it out. I feel like the color's a little bit different. So you guys hopefully will notice when I apply my eyeshadow. Honestly, 
I'm not that picky. This idea that makeup has to be perfect for us to go out or for us to be able to wear makeup or that you have to be some special makeup artist in order to apply your makeup, it's nonsense. If you've watched YouTube for a while, then you probably know of uh, Sam and Nick. What are their names? They're the ones that have, um, they're the British sisters and they're makeup artists. Anyway, they have brushes. They have real techniques brushes. And their whole style is kind of edgy. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's more of a North American thought process, I think. Is it similar? Oh, it's so close. I'm gonna put a little bit of this one over top and see what happens. Oh, see, that's lighter. Okay, I kind of like that better, actually. That was more of what I was going for, more of a pastel. Oh, see, I have a ton of fallout. Tap it off. I do that all the time. I get in such a hurry. It's okay. Now, whatever's left on my brush, I'm just going to lightly drag it up. Okay, let's see about getting this off. That's not so bad. Okay, that is, <laughs> this is really creasing. I hope you can see that. So that's the L'Oreal concealer, which is not abnormal. I didn't set it with powder. So that's good to know think I might put some black liner on tonight. Should I? I'm gonna use the Danessa Myricks Color Fix and it is called Blackout. I'll just squeeze a little bit out on my palette and then I'm gonna take a fine brush and say a little prayer. I saw a really talented makeup artist do her black liner and she actually outlined her eyeliner before she did the liquid with a pencil. So maybe I should do that first. This is Feline by MAC and I'm gonna wiggle it right in the base of the lash. So I can feel my lashes moving. I say this all the time, but it's really important that you don't see a space in between your lashes and your liner. That's actually nice and clean like that. Let me do the other eye. I might leave it like that. The skin on this eye is looser, fun. So I'm just gonna pull it tight a little bit. Now this eye turns down more than this eye. I'm not sure if you can notice that, but this, I always have to cheat it up a little bit to match. Huh, I kind of like it like that maybe. I don't normally use a pencil, I don't know why. I'm just so used to eyeshadow, but I like that. I have this really thick brow hair that keeps growing back there. That's what that bump is, it'll never go away. Somebody asked me in the comments the other day what order to put my makeup on. The answer is there's no right answer. You do whatever you wanna do. I can tell you that the way I apply makeup probably is never the same way twice. I get distracted and then I get excited and then I go, oh, 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 and I'm gonna try this and this and this. So you'll see that with me. It's all gonna look good in the end and that's all that matters. Makeup is supposed to be fun and therapeutic. Don't be hard on yourself and don't be hard on other people either. I think I'm gonna try my Fenty mascara again. I don't know why, because my eyes have been watering so bad and I don't know if it's the best. Sure does give me a really full black lash though, but on occasion, I question it. It's almost heavy on my lashes a little bit sometimes. Probably me, it's probably that I'm impatient and applying a thick coat for the first one. Let's scoot that out of there. Let me use Huda Faux Filter instead. Probably put too much as usual. I hope you noticed that I went in here first, I went out there, here and there. I can even wipe the brush off on a tissue just to remove any excess. And then I will tap in a little bit here only to connect the two. Really don't want any concealer there because that's where the heaviest line is. And then tap it. Whatever's left on my brush, take it down my red nose. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury. I keep using my Anastasia Beverly Hills powder and I love it, but I wanna show you different products. So this is soft brown in the brow cheat. And for those of you that don't know, it is pricey, but at the same time, it is refillable. Did I buy two by mistake? Soft brown, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to buy a refill and I bought a full one. The heck, is this too red? I mean, I have red hair. This is why I use soft brown, but I wonder if I should be using more of a taupe. I don't know, it's feeling kind of warm lately. And it could be because I have leftover um, microblading, which is pink. So if it were going on a regular skin tone, it probably wouldn't feel so warm. 
By the way, I have my fan on. I hope that doesn't bother you. I was hot flashing like crazy. Kind of rumbles, doesn't it? Let's see if I can edit that out a little bit. See, I feel like this lash dropped. Why? Why does that happen? So strange. Okay, I don't know if you can see looking really close, but there is a space right there that's bugging me. And I know maybe not all of you would see it, but I see it. Take a really close look. There's mascara, there's white, and then there's the black liner. That drives me crazy. So I'm gonna go back in, lift up my skin, and make sure that that is taken care of. There, gone. All right, second coat of mascara. Again, I got talking and I think I left it too long in between. How many of you wear false lashes? Leave a comment. I never do. This is so clumpy. I'm ruining it. I need to take a break. It's just me today. Let me set this with powder so that I don't mess myself up anymore. Make sure to get rid of the creases and then might as well go for it all. I think I'm gonna take this color here and use it in the crease. Just want that shadow, a little bit of shadow there. I'm gonna use Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, no, Finish, and touch up right underneath my brow bone. You can't leave that bare because then it just looks odd. Got to finish the whole thing, even if it's just with translucent powder. It connects everything and makes it look seamless. I'm all over the place with my palettes. I'm giving you inspiration. You guys don't need all of this. You don't need any of it. Don't ever feel like you need any of it. I think I want to use this one. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm going to go into this color. And I don't know why I keep tapping because it's making a mess. I think that's gonna be really pretty. So it's gonna add a little depth there, but again, not distract or be too much or overpowering to the color up top. Maybe I should just do the liner that I was going to. Take a stiff angled brush, dipping it in. I think this is a bad idea. I do, I think this is a bad idea. Why am I doing it? Why, Julie, are you doing it? Because enough is never enough. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, that looks good on that eye. Ah, I watched another video of Michelle Spielers. She's so organized and so good and well-spoken. And then there's me. Okay. The reason I'm lifting my lid up is because if you do, you can actually see that there's a little bit of a lip there, like a curvature to your eyelid. So that's why if I stretch it up, I can get it really close to the base. It's a miracle. Oh, don't get wrinkly. Ah. Okay, stop. I just put it down. I just got to put it down. And in here, sorry, I said that and then I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to tap it in right there. Really important for the fair hair girls especially because I can see my blonde eyelashes right there. I'm not sure if you can, but I can. Dark lash girls don't have as much of an issue there. Am I done? Do I want this one for my bottom lashes? Grab you little bugger. Okay, apparently not. That's telescopic. The internet made me buy it. Otherwise I not, yeah, there we go. I think I used that telescopic like three times. Why was there no product coming off of the brush? What the heck? You know what, if you're gonna spend your money, make sure it's on good stuff. Doesn't have to be expensive stuff, but it's gotta be good stuff. Okay, I'm thinking that that Fenty mascara isn't my favorite. For the longest time, Tarte Tubing mascara was my favorite, unless it's just my lashes, which quite possibly it could be. That one I've been struggling with. What happens if I put a little bit of it on? I'm gonna end up with a big mess again. Then I'm gonna have to put false lashes on, cover up my messy lashes. Oh my God, stop, Julie, stop. All of this time, and I haven't done my bronzer or my blush, I really like using the MAC Mineral Finish Powder and I have it in medium dark and I use this for my bronzer, you'll see. I have a lot of good bronzers, but today I'm in the mood for this one. So I'll show you what it does. It's really, really pretty. 
Yeah, nice and light. Not meant to be a bronzer, but I own it and that's what I use it for. Boy, I really get up close to the camera, don't I? Guys are gonna see my nose hairs. I have to because I gotta get close to my 10 times mirror. Blush, lips, and I'm done. And spray. I'm gonna go for my Dior blush. I love it. I think it's gonna look really pretty with this. I'm gonna use a really nice, fluffy, flexible brush. I don't have a lot of highlighters because once you find one you like, you don't really need to keep buying. This one is by Bobbi Brown. It's called Pink Glow. And there, that's all I need. A little bit. Maybe, maybe there. That's all I want, all I need. Maybe there, now I'm getting heavy handed. Okay, put it away. I'm gonna spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I'm feeling a little bit powdery under my eyes, so I definitely wanna set it and get rid of that. I know it's because I used many different products under there and I shouldn't have. I can fix that though, so I'll show you. It always shocks me when people spray their face when their hair is beautifully done. Like, I don't wanna ruin my hair, hold on. Let's cover it. sprayed more setting spray than I ever have before on my face. I saw somebody else do that and I thought, okay, I'll give that a try. You know, we're all learning. I think it's safe to take this down. This is Muted Mauve by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Who made me buy this? Risa Does Makeup made me buy this and I'm not upset about it. No, that's too brown. Yeah, I think this will work. Is this too warm? No, I don't think so. This is called Free Spirit by Bobbi Brown. My look is complete, yay. That was a struggle today. <laughs> I think I really need to start filming in the morning because I film later in the day and by honestly three o'clock, I am so pooped. Now I have to figure out what to wear. Thank you so much if you've stuck with me this long. It might be haphazard like this all the time, I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope this helps just give you ideas of what's out there and what you can do and don't be afraid of color. I've been watching all the women in the beauty community, my peers, and we're all saying the same thing. There is no limits with your age on what you can wear, on your clothing, your makeup, your eyeshadow, your lip gloss, wear the red, wear the violet, wear whatever you want. And as long as it makes you happy, then that's all that's important. So I hope this helps inspire you. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button before you leave and the notification bell. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.